Hi everyone, my name is Ian and I'm a research engineer at SIGOPT and today I'm going to walk you through how to use SIGOPT, AWS and an integration package that we've written for scikit-learn to quickly train, tune and compare several classification models on a given data set. So to get started, we'll create a free SIGOPT trial account from our home page. And once that's created, uh, we can navigate to our profile page to find our API token, which is right here. This token authenticates calls to our API and grants access to the SIGOPT optimization service. So we'll need that later uh, in this example, but we'll leave this page open for now as a reference. Um, the next step is to create a suitable environment to run this experiment. So to do that, uh, we'll log into the AWS console and create an appropriate EC2 instance for this task. All right, so we'll click on the EC2 tab. And go under instances. And we'll launch a new instance. And you could create a fresh instance, but um, we've already created an AMI that's loaded with several useful Python machine learning libraries and made it publicly accessible in uh, the AWS regions in the US. Um, so I'm going to use that um, instance image, and you can find it under the Community AMIs tab and searching for SIGOPT. And this SIGOPT ML Sandbox AMI should show up there. And I'm going to pick an instance type that is um, appropriate for this experiment. Uh, I'm going to pick a, a fairly large instance, a C4 8x large. That instance has a large number of CPU cores and main memory, and it only costs about $1.60 to run for an hour. OK, and now we're ready to SSH the machine. Um, so I'm going to jump over to my terminal. SSH into that machine using the key pair that I already had created. And we're going to grab the public DNS name of that instance. Okay, great. So we've successfully SSH to our newly created instance. Um, I like to check using HTOP to confirm the um, specs of the machine. So if we quickly do that, um, we can see there are 36 uh, CPUs and we have about 60 gigabytes of, of main memory. So that, that coincides with what we thought we were getting with this instance. Okay, so the next step is to actually get the data set that we are going to consider for this example. Uh, and the one that I've chosen is a neat data set that involves a classification problem using smartphone sensor data. And the problem in this data set is sort of to classify uh, sensor readings so that um, you can sort of predict whether or not a user is um, performing one of these six activities between walking. Um, sitting, standing, and, and going up and down stairs. Um, so let's grab the data. So at this point, we're pretty close to being able to start our experiment. Um, but since we're SSHing to a remote machine, um, it's good practice to start our processing from within a TMUX session so that our processes won't get killed if we lose the connection. Um, it also allows us to disconnect from this machine and then reconnect back later to inspect our process. Install the SIGOP integration package uh, for scikit-learn using Hip. So that's simple enough. Just hip install sigopt sk learn. Okay, now that that's installed, um, we're going to start up an IPython session. 
copy in some code uh, to load the test and training data for this data set, which I've already written here. So I'm just going to copy this. And now we're ready to start training and tuning our classifiers uh, on this data set. So we're going to create a SIGOPT Ensemble classifier here. And we are going to fit several models in parallel. So this class is doing uh, a few things for us. It's training and tuning the hyperparameters of several classification models concurrently. The hope being that at the end you can sort of quickly compare uh, which classification model uh, is actually most suitable for the data set you're considering. You can specify a timeout for the entire optimization um, in the estimator timeout option. Um, here I've set it for 40 minutes and you'll also need um, your SIGOPT API token uh, to authenticate the optimization and so we can go back to our profile page and grab that right here and we'll just paste that in and we're ready to start so once that's running, um, we can check out our experiments dashboard under my experiments uh, to see an overview of all the models we're currently tuning. Um, so here you can see we've already got some observations for the linear discriminant analysis model, the random forest model, as well as um, several other models. It looks like six for this example are being tuned in unison. Um, you can also inspect individual progress uh, on a model by clicking on an individual um, experiment card. So we'll click on the SVC model. And there's no observations yet, but uh, we'll let this experiment run uh, for the 40 minutes that we specified in the Ensemble Classifier class. So now SIGOPT is optimizing this SVM model and iterating over various hyperparameter configurations. Okay, we're back and all the models have completed their tuning uh, process so we can go back to the experiment dashboard and look at all the different models and their progression on this data set. And if we go back to our terminal, um, the SIGOPT Ensemble Classifier object actually has a reference uh, to all of these all of these tuned and trained models now. Um, so you can see there's a list of all of these scikit-learn models now here. Um, but what we'd really like to know is how well do they all perform on uh, sort of a test set and so we can sort of make this comparative evaluation and I have a short snippet of code to do that and what this code is going to do is basically um, return a score for each classifier on the training data set as well as the test data set and sort of summarize it in a uh, pandas data frame Okay, now we've got all of the classification models ordered by their performance on the test set. And what we can see is that the uh, LDA model, the linear discriminant analysis model, actually performed the best on the test set. So that's all data that it, it hadn't seen during the training. Um, so pretty neat, you get an insight sort of immediately into which models uh, perform best and the sort of second best performing model looks to be the, um, the SVM classification model with about 95% accuracy. So there you have it, uh, this is just a simple example of an integration um, using SIGOP to tune SKLEARN models to quickly gain some insights into model selection questions you might have when you're uh, looking into a data set for the first time. And hopefully uh, this could help accelerate you know, your, your data science or machine learning workflows.
Um, the code for this example is available on our GitHub repo if you'd like to look at it and play with it. And the SIGOPT SK Learn um, package is available on PyPy if you'd like to download. Um, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.